the shade is getting my solar device. It's actually a quarter to five, so I still have sun in the backyard here. But it's getting very tiny. It's just starting to get shadowed, so I won't have a lot of time left before I lose all my power. So, uh, this is the garbage I found on the way home from math tutoring this time. Um, I have a nice metal um, broomstick here. It's about, I think, a half an inch, a little bit more in diameter. So I'm going to try and make a like straight pipe condenser. So I have, I actually bought this piece here. It's about a meter of PVC pipe, and I'm going to put this inside of it. And you're going to run hot steam through the one pipe, and there's going to be cold water in the bigger pipe, and then steam's going to condense in this. Uh, the nice thing about this, opposed to the coil condenser, is I can just angle it in a nice steep angle, and I know that the water will run down. Instead of the coils, that could be a little uphill, like we didn't bend ours very well. Pretty happy about that, and here I found this piece of PVC as well, so more garbage. Excellent. just found out that the small PVC, this is the piece I found, it's also the same one here, fits directly inside my uh, piston that I'm using right now, so I think I might be able to create another piston using this and an end cap. That's pretty exciting. So I returned one little overly, si uh, overly priced drill bit set, which was 91 pesos. Return that, I got 91 uh, pesos back in here. I spent 86 pesos on all this. So I have a nice um, one meter pipe, PVC pipe for my straight condenser. I got a whole new tube of uh, silicone because that one there is almost out. And I got these nice end caps, also for a condenser. Six feet of hose that I always use. It's really cheap stuff, so that's really useful. And this heat tape, it's aluminum foil tape. Um, I could even use it as a reflector. I might try to see if I can uh, do that, just put this on wood or something. Also, I'd like to pressurize my unit um, for my atmospheric engine. So this is high heat tape. So that's good. I can do a lot of stuff with that instead of just stupid drill bits. So this is the, so mine is one and a half inch 40. That's my um, cylinder. And this is, it says here, one and a quarter inch 40 PVC. So one and a quarter inch 40 fits inside mine. And that's very useful um, to make different fittings and stuff like that. First time trying the pressure setup for the temperature gauge, so I can get my temperature gauge in here. Um, it's somewhere in the middle, sensing the temperature. Right now it's uh, 101 degrees. So, uh, it's very hot. Um, so that's working very well, and the steam's coming out pretty hard now. And I'm going to just connect this to my new um, metal broomstick condenser. This little can at the bottom is going to condense uh, collect condensed water, and there's a metal tube that goes through the center, and then cold water around the outside. So, pick that up. So we are condensing water from the sun. Water boils in there, turns into steam, runs down this hose, and now runs down a long metal pipe that's inside this PVC pipe, and between the pipes is cold water. And that condenses the steam, and then the steam drips down as water into the small can at the bottom. And I'm going to see how many liters of steam per hour I can get of condensed water to see what this machine is capable of. Water from the sun and it's working nice and quickly actually. Getting a lot of water. Turning all that water, all that steam back into water. It should be safe drinking water. It could turn salt water into fresh water, so it's very exciting. So this is my um, sun powered water condenser. Um, takes sun energy, boils water, then distills it, condenses it. It's been running for about half an hour. I don't know how much water is in here. Um, it's hard to tell. Holy shit! It's almost full! Wow, that's really good. That means I can dense about half a liter of water an hour. That's fantastic. It's enough for a couple people to survive. Woo! That's exciting. That's really exciting. So it's running at 101 degrees. And uh, yeah, steam goes through here. The top of this tube is incredibly hot. It's hard to touch, especially right here. So the hot steam comes in and it get, dissipates, gives all its energy off to the cold water that's around the center broomstick, uh, metal broomstick tube. And as you go down the tube, it's still pretty hot, it gets cooler and the bottom's cool. But when this whole tube is really hot, that means steam might escape without condensing. So. We'll have to change the water, and you just open the bottom, drain it out, and pump new water into the top. Really cool. Looks like just the uh, bottom of a pop can. You just put a tiny bit of this denatured alcohol. It goes for quite a while. I feel, feel like that could be used as a stove. It's pretty windy right now, but 
like that right under a pot definitely get it to boil that's a nice heat so that's what we're gonna use for camping and also I mean it's a great way to make a little stove if you are tight on money like we are when you're traveling or people in poor countries I mean if you can get alcohol or some other substance that burns this clean this effectively it's great Hot to steam steam created by the sun is there anything better 